Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, February 27th. Oh my God, February ends tomorrow. The last day of February tomorrow, and that's March, and it's my birthday, March 30th. So wish your girl a happy birthday on March 30th. Guess what I got? Uh, I got a couple things. So I got the iWatch. I caved. It's charging upstairs. Anyone that has the iWatch, can you, in the comments, help me? <laughs> Because I fucking have to charge this thing every day. Like, what the hell? Is this normal? That I have to charge it, like, every day or every other day? I don't like that. Besides that, I love it. But I also got a heart rate monitor. It's called Wahoo. I did a ton of research. Excuse me, I just ate. So you're probably going to ask because a lot of you know that I had a Fitbit. Well... It was giving me a gnarly rash and it was a rash on my tattoo and I am obsessed with my tattoo. I paid a lot of money for my tattoo. I don't want it to like, it was like creating, I don't know, it was fucked up. So I stopped using that, wasn't using any type of calorie tracker for a while because I was getting obsessed with it. But now I just really like, uh, I love the iWatch. There's like different meditations that you can do. It's really cool. So I'm gonna read up on this and, um, and download the app and make sure it all works and track my workout today. I'm so excited to see what I actually burn and I'm interested to see if the heart rate monitor is kind of correct with what my Fit or my Apple Watch says, my heart. I wanted to see if it's the same as my um, Apple Watch, like my, my burn and everything. So I'll see you soon and I'll give you an update. All right, I'm all set up with my little heart rate monitor. I'm so excited to try it. So I'm just going to get the house ready. And what I mean by get the house ready is just like I hate leaving my house with it kind of like, you know, messy. So I just like to put stuff away. I'm going to put my little pre-workout drink together. BPI, 1MR, always kills it. And I'm charging my Apple Eye AirPods, my headphones, because they died yesterday in the gym and I completely forgot to charge them, which sucks. Um, and today's gonna be a good day. Oh yeah? Yesterday kind of sucked. Um, I was like, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like, so I lost my period, which um, is whatever. I'm 8 fucking percent body fat, so what do you expect? Um, this weekend, on Saturday actually, I have an appointment to get another DEXA scan done. It's the body fat percentage testing that I did a couple months ago during my reverse diet. And I'm excited to see um, what my body fat percentage is because when I got my body fat percentage done, a couple weeks ago it was like the caliber like where they pinch your skin and your fat um and i didn't know i was getting it done so i had already had breakfast uh, i had water and coffee and you're technically not supposed to eat or drink anything when you get your body fat done but i didn't know that i was getting it done so i am excited to get all my stats and a dexa scan is cool because it doesn't just tell you your body fat percentage it tells you how much muscle you have in every single area of your body your bone density uh so much stuff so i just want to make sure you know i'm healthy because i am getting lean and i have nine more weeks to go actually it'll be eight weeks on saturday which is nuts eight weeks holy shit but I'm going to get myself ready for the gym and then I gotta eat quick and then bring Luna to the vet, which is like a 30 minute drive. So that was unexpected and I gotta get work done. Busy, busy day, but that's okay. I'd rather be busy than bored. So today's upper body day and 30 minutes of steady state cardio and I will let you know um, what my heart rate monitor says that I burned and what my Apple Watch says that I burned. I'm pretty interested to see how accurate this guy is. So I will catch you guys later after I do all this shit. Hey guys, it is 10.02. Let me just, I just got back from cardio. I just did my cardio, which sucked. I did not want to do it, but I got through it. I went to go do my cardio at 7.30 and there was a girl on the Stairmaster. So I was like, fuck no. I wanted to do the Stairmaster because it's harder. I left, did some work, I ate my last meal. And then at 
10 at nine something, I don't even know, nine something, I went and did cardio and another girl was on the Stairmaster. So I was like, okay. So I went on the treadmill, started walking for 10 minutes, peaked and she was still on there. So I was like, fuck it, screw it. So I just did a really fast incline treadmill walk with my sweet sweat waistband on. And I'm kind of fucking bummed because I thought, I, I, I swear I started my workout on my heart rate monitor, the one on my, the one that I bought and it didn't track my workout. So I got to figure it out, but I did track my workout today. Um, and it was pretty consistent with my Apple watch, which was really cool. So if I ever forget my heart rate monitor or if I want to stop using it, I don't know. Um, or for people who have the Apple watch and they don't know how consistent it is. It was like very on point with my heart rate. Um, the heart rate monitor was getting my heart rate faster than my Apple watch. But when my Apple watch read my heart rate, it was like right, either right on or just like one or two beats off. My heart rate monitor though did read that I burned more calories. So that's interesting. Um, just by like 30 or 60, I can't remember. Uh, I can't really remember off the top of my head. I think it's about 60 ish calories more, um, which isn't a huge deal, but I'm a weirdo and I like data, but I'm annoyed that it didn't track my treadmill walk because now I don't really know if I burned more calories or not, but that's okay. I'll live. Um, I, it's 10 05 now. I don't know why I'm telling you the time. I have to go take Bailey out for a walk. I have, to, and I want to take an Epsom salt bath for 20 minutes. I'm going to soak in an Epsom salt bath and fucking relax. And then I'm going to pass out and hopefully sleep like nine whole hours. Tomorrow is check-in day. Tomorrow is refeed day. I'm going to film that for you just because I want to give you like a little physique update, but I kind of want to hint at my coach and ask him instead of a refeed, I mean, instead of reverse dieting me, what if I did like one free meal a week? Like I want a Rebel House burger. There's a restaurant here in Boca Raton, Florida that has my favorite burger that I've ever had besides my favorite burger in Las Vegas, but I haven't had it since sometime in 2016. I can't even tell you. I have no idea. I'm gonna stop talking because I really wanna get some sleep and I wanna soak for 20 to 25 minutes and take this bully upstairs out for a walk. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Say a prayer that I'm 107. Say a prayer. Jesus. Jesus, give me a Rebel House burger. Make me be 107. Please. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Happy check-in day. Today is the last day of February. Holy crap. And I had oh, a shitty not shitty sleep, I just didn't have a lot of it. I had about six and a half hours, which sucks, because I really wanted to um, sleep more. I sent my check-in to my coach. I am 108.8 today. So didn't hit my 107, um, that's okay though. Um, I'm a pound down from what I was last check-in, and I did my average, and I'm my average is a pound down as well. And I straight up asked him if I could have my favorite burger from Rebel House. So I'm waiting on his response, anxiously waiting, but it's early and he usually doesn't get back to me until the afternoon. So I'm just gonna kind of wing my meals today. I put in Rebel Burger, and I, I tried to calculate my macros for the Rebel House Burger just in case he does tell me to get it. I looked really tight and lean this morning. I can add a picture for you uh, right here. I was. I think the tightest and leanest I have been in any of my check-in photos. So, and I know my coach, I just have a feeling he's gonna tell me to go have the burger, but I honestly just don't know because it's a pretty gluttonous burger. I estimated it. And the way that I did that in my fitness pal is I didn't just search for a big juicy fat burger. I actually broke down each ingredient separately. So this is what I logged. I know it is a ground chuck hamburger, 80-20. And then I know it's white American cheese and I know they put in two slices. Um, and they have this Charm City sauce, they call it. And I know it's mayo based. It's a disgusting fatty sauce, but it's so fucking good. So I logged a tablespoon of mayo. Ugh, 
disgusting. Um, they have two pickled tomatoes on the burger, and I know in pickling liquid, there is sugar and stuff, so there's carbs in those. And then I logged a seeded hamburger bun, like a nice big carby seeded hamburger bun. So the estimated macros for that burger, 45 grams of protein, 58 grams of fat, and 38 grams of carbs. Um, 834 calories i'm convinced that's too low i don't know so we'll see what my coach says so usually i have a ton of to, uh, potatoes for breakfast but today for breakfast i chose to keep it a little lower fat lower carb just in case he does tell me to go get that burger so i honestly don't know what the hell i'm doing today so this will be an interesting full day of eating for you but let me show you my breakfast so I have two slices of toasted Ezekiel bread. I put butter spray on each and then one laughing cow cheese wedge pepper jack that I just split amongst the two. And then I have six ounces of egg whites and 150 grams of asparagus because I'm really, really, really hungry and I need some volume. And then I put some Frank's Red Hot wing sauce over the top. So I'm gonna eat this and then head on over to Starbucks and get a venti cold brew because I am just really, really tired. And I will check in once I hear from my coach. You guys, I'm freaking out. Freaking out. My coach just got back to me. And he said he's all for me having my Rebel House burger. He said to try to have an almost, like try to eat the same foods and do the same approach that I did this week for this coming week. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm confused because like, I, I just don't, I can't imagine myself being down after a Rebel House burger. I'll show you guys, it's a big Mac Daddy fatty burger. Oh, it's glorious. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm having a Rebel House burger and I really want to try to get the macros exact, as exact as I can for estimating. <laughs> I found out the butcher shop where they blend their burgers. Just call the butcher shop. Just talk to the butcher who blends the burger for, <laughs> for Rebel House. And he's like laughing at me because he cannot believe I'm doing this. He's trying to get me to come down and buy burgers from him instead of go to Rebel House. So... <laughs> But he said to call back in a little bit because that's when like the owner will be there and the, the owner is the one that like does the ordering for Rebel House. But he said he's pretty positive it's an 85-15 blend and I logged an 80-20 blend. So I might just keep it at 80-20 just to like give me some extra fat. I can't believe I just called the fucking butcher. So um, if you're ever wondering, you know, anything about a restaurant, their ingredients, call because they are a business. They want to serve you. They don't want to make their, you know, potential customers unhappy. And especially if you go to a restaurant and you feel bad for being picky or for telling this the waitress that you don't want this this and this like to not cook your food in oil or butter or salt or whatever dude you know the waitress works off they live off tips right so they want to make you happy you gotta let go of like not about feeling bad because they're working that is their job and it doesn't make them annoyed like i've been a waitress all over the place and if you're nice about it and you're just like hey you know i just i can't have oil is that okay like be nice about it anyone they will not even bat an eyelash because you are the least annoying person out of the, what they have to go through daily trust me from someone who has been a waitress before um so i'm gonna eat some chocolate chip pancakes i am gonna go crush my motherfucking legs um do some sled pushes do some high volume squats probably just get my heart fucking busting out of my chest and then i the next time i see you i'm gonna have the best burger my most favorite burger in front of me all right really quick before the gym i just wanted to show you what i was bringing and doing so i have 200 grams weighed raw of these white potatoes that i just air fry i'm gonna bring this with rebel 
I'm gonna bring this with me to Rebel House. I was gonna bring my burger to go, but it's gonna be like an hour there and back and waiting. So I wanna eat it after my workout as close as I can. So I'm just going to eat it there, eat this there, and then go for my little walk up and down the little road right there in the little area that the burger restaurant is in. This is about 25 grams of carbs worth, so sad, um, of Sour Patch Kids. I just put it in these little baggies and I will eat that probably during my squats today. And then I have 27 grams of BPI vanilla best protein because since I have to drive a little bit far to get my burger, have them make it, it's going to be a little while um, f like for the amount of time that after I work out until I get food in my system. So I want to make sure I have protein. I'll have BCAAs with me too. So I'm going to drink this and BCAAs while I wait for my food. I have my water. This is going to be a salty, salty burger probably. So I want to drink tons of water today. So headed to the gym right now. All right guys, I'm at Rebel House. The burger has been ordered. The bartenders are hooking me up. I talked to the chef. This is gonna be the best burger that has been made under this roof. So I'll show you when it comes out. <laughs> I'm so excited. I feel like I'm on drugs. <laughs> yes! Yeah, the flower, the flowers are in there. The flowers, we threw the flowers away. Look at this, guys. The pickled tomato is my favorite. They have pickled tomato, crispy onions, two slices of white American, and their Charm City sauce. Uh. It is so beautiful. Look at that. It is look good. Mmm. Proud moment? Ha 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 it's so unbelievably good. The bun is crispy and it's juicy and the pickled tomato is like tart. Come to Boca, we're from Florida, just for this burger. Like, it's amazing. Thank you. I gotta film you. Oh, uh, you don't need to film me. You guys did it. These guys right here. These guys right here gave me the best burger. They made sure of it. I love them. I'm gonna go enjoy this now. Yes. Last meal of the day. It is, what time is it? It is 8.05. That's me and my coachy. Motivation right there. Be your own motivation, motherfucker. Anyway, it's 8.05 and I'm starving. Of course, I have been hungry since 7, but I've held off. I have Alexia's hash. Get your hands on that. I have 200 grams of sweet potato and 4 ounces of egg whites. All with some Eat Clean meal prep, garlic, Southwest Chipotle seasoning, and Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. It's really good. And re look at that volume. Alexia's hash. Today was probably the best refeed to date. I was pretty full all day, it kind of. Towards the end of the night, I was hungry. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a like. Give it a like for the bartenders at Rebel House. They hooked me up. Those fellows were very, very kind. Um, and subscribe if you would like to continue to see my shenanigans. Bye. Love you.